Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have seen an array of drones showcased by China during its air show this year. Undoubtedly they are leading in drones development and operationalizing them. However, the quality of these drones is still under question. At the same time, Indian drone program needs lot of overhauling which includes the upgrade of Israeli Heron MK1 drones under project Cheetah and development and production of indigenous drones such as Archer, Tapas BH201 and Ghatak which will take 3 to 4 years to completely operationalize considering how our defense ecosystem function from development till operationalizing it. However, our armed forces are finding innovative ways to completely negate the Chinese UAV advantage over the contested space. We are calling it a contested space as China does not have dominance over the airspace in LSE which is under the heavy surveillance of Indian armed forces. Indian army is using Swedish L-70 and Soviet era Zu. 23mm as close in weapon system for air defense. These guns have been now heavily upgraded with latest electronics to convert them into a drone killer. The L-70 gun upgrade consists of development in electro servo drives, electro optical fire control system and video tracking. The army has an excess of 1000 pieces of L-70 anti-aircraft gun in its inventory and upgrades are being performed at Jabalpur based gun carriage factory in partnership with Bharat Electronics Limited. We have made a detailed video on L70 gun upgrade and the link for the same can be found in description section. Today we will be talking about the Zoo 23mm guns and its upgrade. The Zoo 23 gun mounts two 23mm auto cannons on a small trailer which can be converted into a stationary mount for firing the guns. While in this position, the wheels are moved aside as you can see in the video. The auto cannon can be prepared for firing from the march position in 30 seconds and in emergency can be fired from traveling position. The original version of the gun has to be aimed and manually fired with the help of ZAP-23 optical mechanical sight which uses manually entered target data to provide limited automatic aiming. The ammo is fed by a conveyor belt from two ammunition boxes. Each of the ammunition boxes is located on the side of the twin auto cannon and each can carry 50 rounds. Normally once each barrel has fired 100 rounds it becomes too hot and is therefore replaced by a spare barrel. Each weapon is normally provided with two replacement barrels as part of its standard equipment. Talking about the upgrade of this gun, Punj Lloyd was selected to convert the mechanical Soviet era gun developed in late 1950s into an automatic system. The plan was to upgrade 468 guns. It converts the manually laid gun into all electric system with autonomous functionality. It enables effective engagement of aerial and ground targets, incorporates the automatic target tracker and complies with the operating and storage temperatures, humidity, dust and rain protection requirements. The upgrade replaces the manual laying system with a rugged UFCS. This will provide the ability to engage targets during day and night in plains, deserts or in mountains. It will also feature a day and night camera, laser range finder and a digital fire control computer. The upgraded gun can engage aerial targets out at a distance of 2500 meters flying at 300 meters per second. Talking about the anti-drone warfare, the biggest challenge faced by Chinese drones and even fighter jets is Himalaya. It limits the payload and flight endurance of the drones drastically. Since LSE is under the heavy surveillance of Indian radars, any drone movement can be easily tracked by these radars. The biggest advantage of Zoo guns are its accuracy and rate of fire. If given the correct coordinates, it can easily take down the aerial threat. The Zoo guns have now been successfully integrated with radars after undergoing heavy upgrade discussed before. 
The Chinese drones will now be just act as a fodder for these heavily upgraded Zoo guns. In the area where these Zoo guns are deployed, China can never think of sending any of its drone. We have recently seen a video of L-17 gun deployed at LSE in Arunachal Pradesh. With the upgrade of these two guns, Indian armed forces are confident to neutralize any kind of drone attack in the region where they are deployed. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.